hello guys so uh, welcome to the cloud tech talk uh, channel uh, in this video we're gonna uh, look at the the oracle cloud platform features if you look at the uh, uh, the browser so i've currently logged on to the uh, oracle cloud platform and um, so this is how the uh, the user interface is you can see a quick actions here and a um, couple of uh, exploring options and here on the right side you can see the account center user management the billing uh, because it's a it's a trial version so the 30 days trial and a uh, few news updates and the help support developer tools documentation so um, the oracle is giving uh, 400 uh, you know dollars here uh, for the trial account uh, the difference in Azure and AWS, you can see they are giving uh, around like $200, uh, the same uh, 30 days trial account, similar to uh, Azure. So if I click on here, you can see um, it says the core infrastructure where you know you can have all the compute, storage, and networking. So that's the Oracle cloud in, uh, core infrastructure. So under compute, we have similar instances, dedicated VM instance, instance configuration instance pools, cluster networks, auto scaling, custom images, boot volumes, OS management, and uh, the block storage, volumes, volume uh, backups, volume groups, group backups, backup policies. And if you go to the object storage, it's uh, object storage, file storage, we have file systems and mount targets. Under networking, we have um, uh, VCN, which is a virtual cloud networks, dynamic routing gateways, load balancers, IP management, DNS, zone management, traffic management. Uh, so this bit uh, similar to uh, what we see in Azure. And let's quickly go to the uh, database. So it says Oracle database because the, the platform is provided by the Oracle. So they are very specific to the database services what they're providing. So um, Autonomous Data Warehouse, JSON Database, Transaction Processing, Bare Metal, uh, X Data uh, Cloud, and uh, these are the Oracle databases. And uh, if you go to generic databases, uh, we see uh, MySQL and NoSQL database. Okay. And they are also providing database related services, which is uh, Data Safe, which we will cover um, in, in later uh, videos and uh, they also have the category data and ai so which uh, big data digital assistant data catalog data integration service connector hub and they are providing uh, solutions and platform like you know analytics uh, resource manager email delivery application integrations monitoring logging developer services and the last option is the monitoring and diagnostics which where we have uh, uh, log analytics and management agent and few of couple of other uh, more uh, uh, Oracle Cloud services related to the platform, and uh, the classic data management service, and the final is uh, governance and administration, which uh, account management, identity, security, governance, administration are part. Okay, so these are the various categories that Oracle Cloud is providing. So I want to quickly um, go to the compute and let's see what instances. They are giving, um, we know uh, in Azure, we have the VM series. Similarly, we have an uh, AWS. Similarly, we have in GCP. So um, so here it says, you know, Oracle Cloud uh, Infrastructure uh, uses compartments to organize your resources. So it's nothing but what we have in resource groups in Azure. So they, these, uh, the Oracle uh, named it as uh, compartments, the logical structure. Okay. So... Um, so let's say um, if I want to go for the uh, instance configuration, let's see what uh, instances, uh, you know, offerings we see under uh, Oracle Cloud. Okay. Let's say instance configuration. So, so this, this is about the um, the documentation about how to create an instance configuration and so that you know you can manage um, various instances I would like to quickly go back here and um, explore the uh, dedicated VM hosts so it's saying pick a, a compartment okay
so it says um, understanding compartments a bit so so they help uh, uh, organize resources to make it easy um, uh, to control access for them okay and um, so there are a lot of uh, documentation which we don't want to so here pick a compartment so I create a I select my root and um, now now we now we see an option called uh, create an instance I'll click on create instance so it's by default uh, you can change the name and it says it will be created under this compartment okay and you can uh, look at the availability zone uh, fault domain and the shape is VM standard EC2 sorry e, e21 micro and CPU count is 1 memory is 1 GB bandwidth and the image here it is and the networking here it's giving and um, you can also uh, add the uh, SSH keys and uh, you can also configure the boot volume uh, configuration if I click on show advanced so I can enable the monitoring agent and all that here in the networking I can give a uh, you know what kind of uh, IP private IP address and the image uh, build you can select the version and the placement so you want to launch that on a dedicated host or not if I want to edit this um, the hardware so I can change the image so these are the various images so here you can look at the uh, uh, platform in images so Ubuntu CentOS Windows um, 2019 2016 and Oracle images so they are uh, rebuilt Oracle images partner images is from the uh, part or the marketplace images and you can upload your custom image boot volumes so currently we don't have so it's the um, so that's where uh, we're gonna uh, you can go ahead and uh, change the um, image let's select the okay we need to accept the select image Now the image uh, got updated. Now uh, click on the shape. So it's a virtual machine, and I can uh, change the the shape. It's the AMD or Intel or any other this thing, and I can also select the what is the um, the VM um, standard. The I mean the the hardware configuration. So we have VM standard from uh, uh, E2 series, which uh, goes up to eight version with you know eight uh, um, cpus and 64 gb ram so that's how you're going to select the if i select the um the intel so the maximum is 24 cores 320 gb i'm going to the special tender and the uh, legacy so that's the old one but it's prefer to go with the intel skylake or the amd rom okay so I'm just cancelling that. Similarly, you can configure the uh, networking, the network name, the subnet. And you can also change the uh, CIDR and uh, assign a public IP address or a, a don't assign a public IP address. Boot volume and all that you can update here. So this is how you create an instance uh, in Oracle Cloud. Let's quickly go back and explore. Um, you know. Um, Second, yeah, instant uh, auto scaling configuration. So, create an auto scaling configuration. If I click on uh, auto scaling, so it's, it's taking that the compartment, the root, and uh, so no instances uh, in the pool because we we, uh, we don't have any VMs created. So, but this is how uh, you can create you can add uh, the VMs in the pool and just click on next so that you can configure the auto scaling policy and review. And you can just go ahead and configure it. So that's about the auto scaling. 
and um, the other thing I would like to show is about the um, MySQL DB systems. Is not available. So view data center region. So look at the location here. I selected India South. If I uh, go ahead and change the um, regions, so I can um, I can subscribe to. Um, exceeded so because this is a, a free trial so you're only allowed to subscribe only one region so platform services regions so currently um, I'm using a Asia specific region subscribe but if you want to change the region you can change North America Latin America or uh, Europe and Middle East so that you know before provisioning you should look at the uh, the availability of the service in the region so that's how uh, for the um, if i use the uh, nosql then let's see um, okay so it's directly asking we can go ahead and create a table so um, primary key the columns reserved capacity and all that so that's for about the databases and the account management let's quickly go to the cost analysis currently we don't have anything um, let's see how is the um, so it's, this is what it's showing it's showing the total usage charges and all that but if I want to generate a cost and usage reports let's see um, what options it's giving currently we don't have um, anything I can go ahead and set up the budget so if I want to create a budget um, so choose compartment type and all that monthly amount budget so I can allow here percentage of budget and all that which is pretty cool and the identity uh, we can go ahead and create a users and all that um, security I want to just um, um, uh, look at the uh, uh, the security part so you can um, so here is the cloud guard something which is new here let's click on the cloud guard the Oracle cloud and let's see so I'm just trying to understand whether we have something similar to Azure Security Center or a Guard Duty, or what we have in um, in AWS. So, so these are the uh, allowed uh, service from the. Um, if I've enabled the Guard Duty, then we can go ahead and create a, a policy. Allow service. Create policy. Okay, so now this all added. You can go ahead and click on next and. Um, select all compartments or maybe all enable so that's how you enable the um, the cloud guard on all the services to monitor and the governance uh, we can uh, generate the limits quotas usage complaints documents compartment explorer and they and the administration let's click on the uh, uh, tenancy details and let's see similarly what we have uh, the tenant ID in Azure so this is my uh, tenant um, ID name this is the ID the tenant ID the home region the CSA number so so this is our the um, the various uh, uh, Oracle cloud services so I uh, would like to cover uh, more detail uh, about compute uh, block storage and object storage, file storage and networking. Right. So, um, so guys, um, thank you so much for watching the video and uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and thank you and have a nice day.